My name is Rajan Hines, and I've been a sneakerhead for 17 years. I have somewhere between 150 to 200 pairs of sneakers in my collection. It all started when I was 15 years old. I got hired to work in a sneaker store. This is back in 2003, 2004. And at the time, a sneakerhead was somebody who had exclusive pairs, premium pairs of sneakers. And you never really seen them wear the same sneaker in a week, in a month, some even a year. So me, I had a pair of white Procades and I had a black pair of AM1 basketball sneakers. So now fast forward to 2005, I picked up a pair of black Altitude Jordan 13s. Dude, this is the this is the very first sneaker in my sneaker collection. Shortly after that, a pair of Inside Out Air Force Ones came out and I picked those up too. This was a women's sneaker, so I had to pick up a, a size and a half larger than what I normally get in men's. So between those two sneakers, I really got a decent amount of attention and I was officially in this, I was officially a sneakerhead. I was in the game. I fell in love with Jordans, particularly one through 13. Um, I love Nike Blazers, I love Nike Dunks, I love Air Max 1s, Air Max 90s, Air Max 95s, and I love trainers because I'm really into fitness. So in the early 2000s, I lived on NikeTalk.com. I was tapped into the forums. I got all my information from there. It was basically our social media uh, of that time because this is before Facebook, Instagram, and all of that. I think we had MySpace, but NikeTalk.com was my source of information for everything. The only, only free sneakers I ever got, <laughs> and this was, it's actually recent, it's a golf shoe and it's from it was from a uh, a promotion that I did for golf golf galaxy so it got to a point to where in 2013 I started selling my collection I was selling pairs that I haven't had the chance to wear yet or that I just didn't like anymore and I made an easy five to six thousand dollars I can honestly say that sneakers have paid for an engagement ring for my now wife and it helped me pay for our wedding. Flu Game 12s. <laughs> um, this was, I want to say this is the first time I hit on a sneakers app. One of my favorite Jordan stories is how I purchased my 11, 12 countdown pack. I don't even know exactly what, what to call it, but at the time there was no GPS um, and I live in Philadelphia so I had to drive a state over to Delaware to pick up these sneakers uh, at a store that I never that I didn't know of or anything printed out my directions on MapQuest with $400 cash in my pocket and I got there and they did not have my they didn't have my size in that particular store so I had to drive to another store and because I didn't know the area they sent me with one of their employees that knew exactly where to go and while I'm driving with this stranger with $400 cash in my pocket um, he was saying how he got his employment at the store and this guy was a convicted felon and at that moment I knew that either this is my last, this is it for me, or I'm gonna get these sneakers and I'm gonna be so grateful that I'm able to safely make it back to Philly. And long story short, I guess, is I'm happy to tell that story today. My principles around sneakers will always be simple. Buy what you like, wear what you buy, and remember they are sneakers, not shoes.